And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Skewtelosaurus, which was a request from Miss Waffles the Kitten via YouTube, so thanks. It was a Thyreophoran that lived in the Jurassic in what is now Arizona in the U.S. And Thyreophorans are the group that eventually turned into ankylosaurs and ankylosauroids and also stegosaurs. So kind of gives you an idea of what sort of dinosaur it might be like. But this one doesn't really fit neatly into either of those categories. Yes, but it, it was an armored dinosaur. Yes. And its closest relatives were probably a Mausaurus and Scalidosaurus. Its name means little shielded lizard. And there's only one species, Scutellosaurus lawleri. The species name is in honor of David Lawler, who found the fossil. And Lawler was a grad student at the University of California, Berkeley at the time, and found the holotype at the West Moenkopi Plateau locality at the silty fossils member of the Cayenta Formation in Coconino County, Arizona, which is part of the Navajo Nation, and he found this in 1971. It was described by Edwin Colbert in 1981 based on the fossils law were found as well as a second specimen. James Clark found six more specimens in 1983. Colbert originally thought it was related to Lesuthosaurus, a basal ornithischian, and placed Scutellosaurus in the family Fabrosauridae, but the scutes and other features eventually put it into Thyreophora. It's one of the earliest armored dinosaurs and the most basal one found so far. But it's too basal to be considered an ankylosaur or stegosaur, as Garrett mentioned. Scutellosaurus had over 300 osteoderms on its neck, back, and tail, and those formed parallel rows, up to five rows on each side. The scutes were too small for species recognition. They were embedded like in crocodiles and not really visible. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that there are modern animals that have scutes, but crocodiles are a really good example. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't even realize. The armored back, that's why they're all bumpy. That's uh, a, it's actually yeah. armor. So the scutes could have been used for defense. Potential predators at the time included Megapnosaurus and Dilophosaurus. Scutellosaurus was an herbivore. It had leaf-shaped cheek teeth, and it was small and lightly built. It could grow up to 3.9 feet, or 1.2 meters long, and it weighed 22 pounds, or 10 kilograms. It was just a little guy. Yeah. Like a little puppy. A little armored guy. <laughs> it was probably bipedal, though it may have walked on all fours when eating. And it had a long tail, probably to help it balance. That's cool. I like that guy. <laughs> a little skewty. 